Hey everyone, I'm Ms. Mulkowski, the mathematician, and today I'm going to talk about the area of a regular hexagon. So I know one of my more popular videos on YouTube is finding the area of a regular hexagon with side length seven. And you can watch that video if you click right here. And um, I do, I find the area the long way. Some of you may or may not know that there actually is a formula and to get the area of a regular hexagon, it's just three root three over two times S squared and S is the length of the side, okay? So I think it's important, I, I, I don't have an issue with formulas at all, I just think that sometimes when we use them if we don't understand where they come from, it can be a problem, right? Um, so today what I'm gonna do is I am going to derive this formula right here, okay? So first, let us draw a hexagon. Now remember I'm drawing freehand, so kinda bear with me here, I'll use blue. Okay, so a hexagon, has six sides, and remember this is a regular hexagon. Well, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> um, so the area of a regular hexagon, so it has six sides, because it's regular, all those sides have the same measure, okay? So because we know our formula uses the length of the side squared, we're just gonna call every side here S, okay? All right, so I wanna try to figure out how to find the area of this, but instead of using, like in my video, where I use seven, we are gonna use S, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is gonna put a center, a, a dot in the center, and talk about a triangle. Because what's so super duper important is that um, if we can find the area of the triangle, we can just multiply by six and get the area of the whole thing. So it's, it's super important to think of like how we can break something up, okay? Triangles are your friends, especially 30, 60, 90, and 45, 45, 90, because you don't need a ton of data to be able to, you know, find the missing pieces, right? You just need one side. So when I have a hexagon, remember if I were to draw out, okay, all these other segments here, I know I have 360 degrees. Because I have six of them, I know that this is 60 degrees, okay? So just to make things easier, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull this triangle out right here. Okay, so I'm taking this triangle and I'm doing it right here just so that we can see it better. Okay, so remember this was S, okay? Now, I'm going to drop an altitude, okay? So when I drop an altitude, it's gonna bisect this angle right here. So instead of this being 60, this is gonna be 30, and this is gonna be 30, okay? So if I wanna make it a little even more clean, because remember, I'm sure your teacher says always do math in pencil, and you should because sometimes you wanna erase things to make things less busy, if you will, so you don't get confused, okay? Because we replace a lot of things sometimes with other things. Okay, so remember, this was 60, okay? And now I have bisected it when I dropped that altitude, and I've got 30 and 30. Well, remember, this is 90, so this is 90, so that means this must be 60, and this must be 60, okay? So I've created, because this is an equilateral triangle, and then I bisected that angle, this is also gonna bisect this side. I know visually it doesn't look like I bisected it, but that's what's going to be happening here. So the whole thing is S, okay? But um, each little piece here, okay, is going to be what? One half S. So if I take maybe, I don't know, maybe the brown, I'm just trying to show it in a different color. So this is one half S and this is one half S. One half plus one half equals the whole thing, okay? Now the reason I wanted that was because in order to get the area of this triangle, which remember, once I know that, I'm just multiplying by six to get the area of the whole hexagon. Okay, to get the area of this triangle, I need the base, which I have, which is S, and I need the height. Okay, now you might be thinking, well, why did you bother breaking it up? Well, because I've created a 30, 60, 90 right here with this being the short side, okay, this is the long side, this is the hypotenuse, okay? So if I can get the long side, the measure of the long side, I now know the height of this triangle, okay? So um, for 30, 60, 90s, if I am going from the short leg to the long leg, what do I do? I multiply by root three. Okay, so if you click on a video right over there, you can kind of see how to do that, okay? So I'm gonna take my one half S, okay, because that's a short side, okay, and I'm gonna multiply by root three, okay? Because remember, in a 30, 60, 90, so this is 60, this is 30 here, this is 90, okay, this is X 
the hypotenuse is 2x and this is x root 3. Okay, so whatever this is, I multiply it by root 3 to get the long side. So I take 1 half s and I multiply it by root 3, which is going to just equal root 3 over 2s. Okay, so that's going to be my height. This right here is my height. Okay, so I can write it right here. So I can write what we got, root 3 over 2s. Okay? So now I know it's super duper messy what I've got going on here. So let's clean it up maybe again. So now I'm just going to redraw this triangle, okay, in blue, okay, over here. Okay, so I'm going to redraw the big blue triangle that I had because remember, my goal is to find the area of this, okay? And I know that this is 30, this is 30, this is 60, this is 60, okay? This whole, the base of it was S, and I know that the height is root 3 over 2, S, okay? So if I want the area of this triangle, I just know that it's 1 half base times height. And in this case, the base is S, and the height is root 3 over 2S, okay? So if I want the area, all right, I'm just going to say, well, then the area is, if I kind of come up here, so the area is just 1 half base, which is S, okay, times height, which is root 3 over 2S, okay? So then I multiply all of that together. I've got 1 times root 3, which is just root 3, 2 times 2 is 4, and then I've got S times S, which is S squared. Perfect. So the area of this triangle, okay, right here, this triangle is root 3 over 4 s squared. So I'm just going to write root 3 over 4 s squared is going to be the area of that. Well, how many do I have? How many of these triangles do I have? Remember, they're all identical because I've got a regular hexagon here. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. So all I'm going to do is say, well, if one of them has an area of root 3 over 4s squared, then six of them have an area of root 3 over 4s squared times six. Okay? So let's take another, and we'll say, we'll come over here and we'll say the whole hexagon. And then I'll just say area. I probably should have said area of the whole hexagon, but I think you know what I'm talking about here. Um, yeah, maybe I'll just write that. Okay, so area of the whole hexagon. Just in case, you know, for those of you that are skipping around in the video and aren't watching it all the way through. So area of whole hexagon. Perfect, okay? So what I'm gonna say is um, it's going to be six times root three over four s squared, okay? So, because remember, the area of one of them, this triangle we pulled out and put over here, and we said the area of this triangle is root 3 over 4 s squared. So then I just multiply it by 6. So then that's just going to be, oops, um, I'll come kind of down over here where I have room. So it's going to be 6 root 3 over 4 s squared. And then obviously both 6 and 4 are divisible by 2. So 6 divided by 2 um, is going to be, we can get rid of a 2 here, so that'll be what, 3, root 3, 4 divided by 2 is 2, s squared, perfect, I'll write it as a equals, okay, so now we cross our fingers and say, did we do it right, we did all this work, and we did, look at that, yep, so we knew this was a formula, I told you this was the formula to begin with, but I said, let's derive it, let's see where it's coming from, okay, and there we have it, so the area of a regular hexagon is going to just be 3 root 3 over 2 times s squared, the side length squared. And if you go to that problem that I have where it's find the area of the regular hexagon with side length 7, you can actually just plug in um, 7 for s squared and you'll get the same answer that I get in the video. Now, remember, this is kind of a shortcut. You could also use it to check and stuff like that. But it is super duper important that you understand where it comes from. And you do have to be prepared that sometimes your teacher will ask you to get the area of a hexagon the long way. Even I did that in class because I thought it was important for kids to, to understand where it's coming from, okay? So you can almost use this as a check maybe after you do it the long way on a test. You can be like, let me just plug it in the formula and check, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, so there you go. Hey everyone, I'm Ms. Mulkowski, the mathematician, and I hope you found that last video helpful. If you have any questions or if there are any topics you'd like to see me cover in future videos, definitely let me know in the comments below. 
Thank you again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'm going to leave you with the most important piece of advice I can give you, which is when you're doing mathematics, always ask why.